here we are hey everyone well look at that hopefully this is working we're hoping it is working because we, we switched computers <laughs> we did we put a faster better computer back yeah. here and we got the puppy pen down mm -hmm. and we're back from punta cana yeah and that was fun. we sean is working here full time again and yeah. he's going to be launching his new business soon but i wanted to get back to doing lives regularly with you guys i've missed you yes. and i found some inspiration today Ooh. and i have time before i go to my meeting tonight so i figured now would be the time now is the time now is the time so, so i see both facebook and youtube peeps yay the only bad thing is that the screen is smaller than the old ones yeah. so everything's a little squished so um right now we're gonna still be restreaming to both at the same time facebook youtube but that might be changing in the future we're gonna play around to see how we can get more live viewerships because we have a renewed focus with Chalk Tour. And some people just go live straight on Facebook, YouTube. Right now, we're going to still do both. We're going to play around with both of them. Yes. But I do want to talk to you guys about a couple things before we get our project going. Um, and the first and foremost is joining Chalk Tour. Mm. So we have not been live, I know, in a while. We're getting back to doing lives either... We haven't even figured out our schedule. Today is literally our first day back from vacation. Sean's first day uh, back to Ken's Creations, and we are figuring everything out on all of our business adventures, including the freeze-dried candy, including Chalk Couture, and how we want to redo our lives and all the good stuff. Um, and kind of relaunching our Club Couture program and our team and how we incentivize our team. But... A big thing right now is if you want to experience Chalk Couture, there's two main ways, but I really want to talk about one of them because there is a transfer that's currently out of stock that you can get if you join as a designer. So I always tell you, you can experience Chalk Couture three different ways. You can shop directly from us, which we appreciate. Mm -hmm. You can, um, if you shop ours, make sure our little logo's in the upper right hand, or my photo. Um, you can join our club, which we're going to talk about in just a second because we're doing a club project tonight. Or you can join as a designer. Now, designer, in my opinion, is the best way to experience Chalk Couture because you get all of the perks and benefits. You get 40% off our entire catalog. You get the ability to earn an additional 20% off um or income and you get something called designer dollars it's just an awesome way to join and there is three ways to join now if you just want to you want to dive deep into chalk tour get your discount don't want to buy a starter kit you can join just for 9.99 it's a one-time activation that activates it kind of think of it as a costco membership puts you into a wonderful a designership and you get all of the perks of being a designer or you can join with a kit, which is my preferred way of doing it. We have two kit options currently right now until the end of February. One is called our uh, Easter pack and one is called the February starter pack. So let's take a look at both of those. So the first one we'll take a look at is the spring pack. This is the standard one we have right now for $99. This comes with the monthly club couture transfer, which I'll show you here in a second. You get the etched bird cutouts the rabbit and company sure to grow transfer the day drinker transfer the oh hello there transfer and the spring in your step transfer now one of those two of those are c size transfers which we've never had in a starter kit no, it's nice. in surfaces we get bird cutouts the double-sided a frame the house box frame the pennant banner the lumber pillow cover which means you will need to use your ink so it also comes with paste single packets it comes with chalkology ink packets it comes with the ink mat color trace small squeegee it's 268 us value and it's just 99 dollars. so that kit is still available that has been a very popular kit we've never had a kit with ink singles we've never had a kit with c-size transfers so very popular however they've launched recently the easter pack now this one is super cool because this one actually comes with the Cottontail Market. This is a sold out transfer. You cannot get it anymore. And it also comes with the uh, basic, the shape right there. You can see the bunny shape there, which is also sold out. So this one, you're gonna get the monthly Club Couture transfer, Happy Easter Swirls, Amazing Grace, Happy Easter Minis, Jelly Beans, Spring Cottontail Market. You're also going to get the 
Couture Boutique Chocobo Chips Spring Cocktail Market. That's the bunny cutout right there, which is sold out on the website. You're going to get a jar cutout. This is the thick wood. You're going to get the Couture Gallery Aiden Style White Frame. These are the nice, um, our, our, what we call gallery frames. These are distressed and they're magnetic. Um, you're going to get a board and base in white and white chocolate chips. You're also going to get bright white chocology paste in a jar. You're going to get paste singles in two different packs. Adhesive magnets. This will be so you can put your bunny on the board. Color tray, small squeegee. This has a $252 value and you can join for $99. Now that one is really cool because you cannot get the cottontail market or the bunny cutout anymore they're both sold out so if you want that you can join and get that in the easter pack and i believe that these are available until they are sold out mm -hmm. so that is how you can join chalk couture we would love for you to be on our team um and join us in our chalk journey and get the ability to earn a trip we had a team member on the trip with us in putacana or earn free product or just have fun and be part of our community now you can also become a club couture member now the club couture membership is a happy meal every month so in february right now if you were to join as a designer and or a club couture member today until the end of february you're going to get this transfer which is called the welcome ish so let's pull up the february transfer just to show you what it is so this one is what is shipped out it says welcome ish depends on how long you stay it comes with guava pesto storm and the idea is to make a project out of the box you'll get written instructions and a uh, video on how to complete that project now in march and the project we're going to be using today i love this transfer this is one of my favorite club transfers they've released this is called the botanicals transfer okay so this one here is the march transfer you get to the botanicals which says just keep breathing with all these beautiful flowers. You're going to get shimmer melon, papaya, and camel. Very, very cool project on a nine by 12. So if you want that transfer, um, it will go into the kits starting um, March 1st. And then- um, Two days from now. Yeah, but if you're a designer, you can always get the transfer early mm -hmm. with their add-in program. One last thing I want to talk about because this has been all over the place. So Chocotour has changed a little bit of the way they release product. And the way they release it now is we're having more releases throughout the year. So we had one just in February. We're going to have one in April. But they're ordering less product, which means we have a risk of a sellout. So last month, we had a lot of transfer sellout. We had the chocolate shape sellout and... The color of the month, which was called Dream Car, sold out in record time. I think it lasted two weeks. We actually have that here. I can show it to you. Um, so this is the color of the month. Once it sells out, it is retired. So it doesn't come back. So you only get it really to the beginning of the month. So on March 1st, the color of the month, new color will be revealed. We'll know what color it is. And you have the ability to buy it. If you place a $75 on our truck site, you can add it to your cart for it unlocks the pace so you can add it. Um, so you don't want to miss out because once they're out, they're out. So really, um, going forward if there's products you really want i encourage you now to buy them when you see them because some of them are not getting restocked they've kind of created this um identity of get it while it's hot because when it's gone it's gone um and for my club couture members you know that i used to uh do things a little differently starting in march we're going to be changing that up so look for your fab first email in march um because i don't want you guys to miss out on those transfers and I want you to be able to still get rewarded by being a club member mm -hmm. of ours. So we're launching some new yeah. stuff, which is exciting. That was a lot of information. Any questions? Well, Patricia was at, actually asking, do you know what the color of the March will, of March will be? I don't think we get to We already. don't, but I have a color of the month video on my YouTube channel, which is the one that they debuted at um, leadership. leadership. Mm -hmm. And you can see Dream Cart in there with a whole bunch of other colors. So I'm wondering if that's like a sneak peek. Maybe. Yeah, I I would anticipate, I've heard rumors like it's a gray or an off gray, like grayish, because grayish went away, which was one of our favorite colors. Yeah, it was very so cool. I'm wondering if that will be coming back. So mm, maybe. All right, so let's talk about tonight's project. Um, we're going to be using the March Botanicals Transfer. Now, I do have 
everything listed down below on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, just hashtag flowers, F-L-O-W-E-R-S. It will send you a Facebook message with all of the links that you will need. So hashtag flowers. With an S. Um, Sorry. With I an not, S. I did not get a chance to fix it. So flowers with an S. Um, I want to explain what you can get also on our Etsy store. So our Etsy store, which is Ken's Creations Inc. And I do have direct links on there. I do have the digital format of this month's transfer, which is the March transfer. It will give you a set of images that you can cut using any machine that takes SVG. You can cut using wood. You can cut our new chalk suede cardstock. Um, the way I designed the SVG is basically to cut out. Oh, this is leaking, I think. Uh oh. Can we get something yes. new? Yes. I must have a crackhead. Yeah, thanks, okay. Shani. You bet. Well, I explain this. Um, okay, so these are all wet, but that's okay. The way I dis did the SVGs, just so you know, is you can cut out the SVG to match the transfer perfectly. And what I mean by that is it's designed with a 0.15 offset. You would get all of this. So one part of the design has this, but I also wanted to give you the ability to cut these flowers separately. So I also designed it to where you can separate it like this so that way you could chalk on it. So you can buy the SVG, it's $4.99 on our website, to cut on your own, or you can buy the cutouts. So we have two different sets. We have a cutout with basically this set that is these two flowers attached. That would match your Club Couture perfectly. Or you can get it where it is, the flowers are separate like that and you can actually put on a bigger board correct so these out. would be separate so there's also that option the third and final option is the one we're doing tonight which is going to be this option which is if you want to replicate this um project it's going to be all six flowers and this that you're going to see what we're using so you can see all three options on our etsy store you can pick it um one is like i said attached flowers detached flowers or ken's project that was a lot of information. Yes. Donnie, any questions? Um, I'm going to say Shannon Williams. So we know March's color. We do not. We think with the video that we saw could have been a preview hint, but we don't know. We don't know. So we really they don't, don't know tell the color. Us. They won't tell us. Got to wait until the first. Yes. Um, oh. And yes, Dream Car was gone in two weeks. Boom. If you didn't get it within those two first weeks, two weeks yeah. done. Sorry. Virginia. February, we had a lot going on. We yeah. had puppies leaving. We had a trip. It was a lot. Yeah. And Virginia, you said we'll both be live on live. I'm not sure what you mean. Might want to re reword that question so we understand what you mean. Sorry. I gotta find a way to shrink all this stuff. It's so big. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this kind of down the middle. I'm gonna make sure I measure it, of course. Mm -hmm. Um because we are going to use some Dixie Bell stain in white down here and black up here. So I want this to be about, let's go ahead and have it go up to the bottom if I did at eight. Hope we're not screaming at everybody this thing. Looks like it's we're screaming at you, sorry. New setup. Yeah, new setup, everything is well, like Well, I mean, new not new setup, just we moved a computer that's a better computer. Astro, that's the Apple M1 processor. Yes. It's supposed to be very nice. So far it has been. When I have all three cameras in one port. <laughs> Which is weird. Which is weird. I had to buy a special little hub to get all three cameras into. Because the back of these newer computers are all USB C's. Seven ounce. Where the older one had USB A or USB 3, but A size. And it works fine, but not this one. I'd that fine. Looks straight. Thank you, Fatima, for letting me know. I kind of suppressed it a little bit because it was like, really like, where did you get the board? This is the So new. this is, yeah, and this is why you want, like I said, to buy products when it's come out. This has been retired already, but this was the, our uh, um, 18 by 18 uh, box frame. But it is no more. Very sad. 
How do I make sure this is level? Your best way to do it is measuring here and there in the center, all making sure it's all the same. What do you mean? That's right. Okay, you while want, he does that. You want it all on. I just want it to be eight inches. Eight inches? Okay. Yeah. From the very edge, right? Yeah. So the bottom is eight inches. Yeah. So eight inches there. That middle looks like it's too far down. Okay. There you go. And then we'll check here. And it needs to come down. Whoops, sorry, I moved it. Right there. Okay. We'll recheck it. Eight. Still looks Eight. a little wibbly nope. wobbly. It's good. Nope. Okay. It's good. So we are going to put down some placement tape. I love this stuff. I buy it in bulk. And I'm going to be staining the bottom black and the top, wait, no, the top black, the bottom white using Dixie Bell Voodoo Gel. So if you guys don't know what this stuff is, it's great stuff. It's great stuff. It's a water-based um, gel, uh, water. So this stuff has no smell like oil-based ones, very smelly, hard to clean up. You need to use turpentine. This, you just need water. It cleans up very, very nicely. It covers nicely. They mix together nicely. Yes. We need to buy more black. Or did we order black? No, we I did order some more on this <laughs> order. Yeah. Um, and then I'm using their new Foam Dandy brush. This is supposedly a reusable uh, brush. You can also use the applicator that this comes with. It's like a little foam applicator. The reason I love this stuff so much is it's easy to use. Um, it gives it a beautiful look. It dries super quick. And like I, Sean said, there's no smell or anything like that. Um, we use primarily mostly, I've fallen in love with Dixie Bell products. Um, and you can get the link, like I said, if you're on Facebook, just text me. Uh, flowers, I'll send you the link. And on YouTube, it's down below. They have really good products, good customer service. Um... And this, I probably use more than their oil stain, just because it's so easy to use. And we will wax over this before I use our transfers. Um, if you don't have an 18 by 18 and want to create this project, I do know um, Hobby Lobby has a few in... Oh, I should have probably painted... Oh, well, let's see. I'll just make sure my block is good there. And you know what? I'm actually going to do the frame in black, all black. So when I do the black, I'll do that. Like Fatima, she has breathing problems. She says it's fantastic stuff because it doesn't bother your lungs at all. It's very, mm -hmm. very nice stuff. Tamara says buttercream is her favorite white for making. Uh, buttercream is uh, is not is like their second step down, I believe. Yeah. yeah, it's like a cream. Yeah, it's just it's a or is it their third? I always forget. So I am going for kind of a distressed look, but I do kind of if you want brush marks, you would want to use more of a brush, obviously. But I don't. If I get brush marks, I'm not going to hate it, but. So what's great about this stuff is I can just now dry this mm -hmm. and do another coat. Now you would have to do um, stain. You could also just do paint. I just like the stain because you can kind of still see the wood through it. Our trip was amazing. It was probably one of my favorite incentive trips that we've had. Mm -hmm. We stayed on property and Sean drank and I ate and we saw people and had fun. and It was a great trip. My son and I are driving to Spokane from Whidbey Island on the 17th. Very cool. So, for those of you 
um, that don't know, we are having couture tours in Spokane. What's couture tour, Sean? So couture tour is where they get to have people in all these different cities um, kind of get together and do some uh, chalk and fun and get to meet some of the leadership peeps and whatnot. So lots of fun. And we will be, of course, at the Spokane one. So yes. if you haven't registered, come meet us. That would be so March. fun. Right? 15th of March? Yep. Yeah. The link is on my page. I'll come to Kansas City in the fall. We do not know where we're going. Um, I did do a survey in my team page of where my team members are mostly going, and we're going to try to go to those because our chalk con this year is virtual, virtual. So we're not traveling. So we're going to try to go to some of the um, couture tours, and then we'll let people know, and we can hopefully meet up with people because that's our favorite part of going to events is meeting people. A lot of our East Coast people hate that we're, you guys are all over there and we're not over there either. So yes, I know. It's almost like it'd be great if we were central and it could be easier to go. So yes. true. We're so far west. And even the CEO will be at ours too. Oh yeah. I don't know if he's the CEO. I think he's the president. President. Did anybody get a, a CEO? I don't think they're going to have a CEO, like, because they have, like, multiple, like, presidents kind of thing going on. Sure. Okay. So the top, we're going to be doing a mixture of black and gray. But I do want to dry this so I can put tape on it. Cutting it close. Oh, we can always finish. If we don't finish, we can always do a second part two, like almost a two-parter. We could. It would be kind of fun. I have a meeting at 7, which means we'll have to leave here by like 6.45-ish. We could be a little late. They just kind of go over everything in the beginning. So. That's true. Where is it at? It's at the Valley Trinity. Same place we've been before? Yeah. Same as Wednesdays? Yeah. Okay. So if we have to do a two-parter, we'll have to do a yeah, two-parter. Yep. These people will come back for part two. Of course you will. Missed what happened to Christine. She moved on to... I forget where she went. It's a company called... Moji Life, I think? She basically... Um, her parents were getting older and she wanted to make a more of a I guess I don't need to do this I'm maybe doing block uh more of a time with her parents and the CEO job of Chalk Tour took up a lot of time yes it did uh, I miss her too all right so we're gonna do this and all the sides. So I'm gonna have Sean grab some. I just use parchment paper to protect our top here, mm -hmm. um, which is not. We need to resand it. Well, resand it, resand it, and then put multiple coats of my uh, polyurethane. Yeah. Now this one I do want streak marks, so I'm gonna be using some Dixie Bell French silk and their Bell brush. I'm gonna start with black. You want this on it? Yes. Just a sec. I'm going to have to clean that one, too. Probably. Well, 
we'll slowly go out with it a little bit like that. There we go. Now let you clean it. Now this one I'm going for more uh, where the white I really wanted a nice, um, I mean it was okay if it was, ew, that's not good. Get rid of that. This is, I'm going for more of kind of a dirty chalkboard look. I got inspiration for this board from, if you guys follow her, her name is Robin Smith of... Robin Schmidt Odessa creates and she did kind of a wildflower board and I'm changing it up she used a different transfer and some other stuff but I loved the overall look of it so we're going for that look now if you watch our video on this on my sister channel Ken's Creations you'll see us using the applicator pad for a lot of the um, application of this their applicator pad actually works really good it gives it a nice smooth finish so if you're not looking for a brushed look um, it a works well, great a well used one this is a well-used applicator brush. It's basically a, a terry cloth type material on the outside with a sponge in the middle or in, encased. There it is. That's better. There we go. Probably should have done uh, my border first, but that's okay. That's okay. We can always go back and do the border. Mm -hmm. We'll probably go back to doing lives Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays. We just wanted to get back in the swing of things today just because on Mondays and Wednesdays I have a meeting I like to go to. And it is at 7 o'clock which is kind of at the same time during our lives. Mm -hmm. How is Riley? She is well. Yeah, you give an update on Riley and tell yeah. everyone that doesn't know what happened, what happened while we were gone. Yep, she has been doing well ever since her surgery. She's doing quite well. That part's all basically good. Um, when we left the following night, uh, Michaela, who is uh, our niece-in-law, she was watching and she had a seizure. And she she said by the time I got to her, she was about to give her the, the little stuff up her nose, but she already stopped the seizure. Okay, great. Following day, Saturday, I believe, she sent the dogs to go outside and go potty, which we do all the time. And she heard a commotion going on outside. She went outside and saw Riley attacking Sierra, but then when she saw Riley, she must have had another seizure because she was all beat up with bite marks everywhere. So her left ear is all drooped down with a lot of cellulitis problems and doesn't look good. She's on antibiotics and a few other things. So she doesn't, she looks like a Franken. We call her Franken Franken, Franken puppy. Uh, Franken puppy, kind of like uh, uh, <laughs> Sally from. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. She's all stitched up everywhere. <laughs> so that part's not great, but she um, she's a trooper. Believe it or not, she's a great trooper. And of course, as we always say, she's a Christmas miracle. And uh, but she's doing all right. It's and she's doing what she can with what she's got, um, giving her meds, to making sure she's comfortable. Um, it's healing nicely. I wish it was healing a little more speedily, but it's just, it takes a while. But they upped her... They did up her uh, meds for her phenobarbital mm -hmm. to one... Let's see, it'll be... Gotta do the math here, sorry. Um, it is... 
which sucks because that increases her hunger, so she is always hungry. We're going to have to get some vegetables for her tonight or tomorrow when we go to the store because the vegetables have very low calories and she can have a ton of different vegetables yeah. because she is, they, they even say, like, this drug makes dogs extremely hungry. Yeah. So she's going from 97.2 milligrams to 113.4 milligrams, which equals to being like three point whatever per kilogram of her weight. So Cece really can't be trusted around Riley. She's fine when people are around, when you're around, she's fine. And you can catch it if you're there. And if she was outside, see, like right now they're cuddling together. Yeah. It's just when she has seizures and we talk to her vet and she says dogs that have seizures, unfortunately, if, if there is a... Some dogs can get protective. Yeah. Hola, from Mexico. Hello, Nick. I want that look. Sorry, I should have told you that. Most of the time in the future, we'll have our boards prepped. This one, we were a little late because I uh, had to get all the files ready and the cutouts. and So normally, you wouldn't have to see all this prep work. Yeah. We tried a, one of our, I think our lives a while ago, we told ourselves we wouldn't we would do it beforehand but sean had to move computer in here and get that all reset up because it I had to re re uh re-download the software because it's not on this computer and then i had to set all that up with all the stuff that goes with it, it took a while carrots green beans and canned pumpkin puree carrots and green beans for sure we only give canned pumpkin when they're having digestive problems like diarrhea or whatever Today's, though, whose birthday? Today is Sierra's birthday, along with her entire clan. The COVID pups, as the we COVID like to call pups, them. Uh, Luna and Hades, Hades and Capo, Capo and um, Penny, Penny Lainey, Kylo, Lainey, Kylo, Lainey, and uh, uh, Remy, and Remy, who is a little angel puppy up, up in the heaven. Yep. So, yeah, it's their birthday today. And see, uh, Riley's was on the 22nd, so she is officially six. All right, we're going to do just one more black, and then we're going to add a little bit of gray, and then we're going to start staining our flowers. And our flowers are going to be predominantly black. Yeah. Our... Um Vet said there was a possibility because we did leave on vacation that she may have had her seizures because of that, but you can never. Yeah, emotions. You, never, you, you or, don't know. We know. We really don't know. Because she had another seizure last night while she was sleeping. She had a small. She had a small one. The other. How did you catch it? I heard a lot of rustling around with uh, of the toenails on the wood floor. And oh. So I got up and once I got the light on, she was at on the steps. Uh, doing her twitch style of when she has a small seizure it's just a little it's just a uh, uh, you can tell uh, uh, and then uh, if we catch it and we talk to her we can usually yeah she came out of it within yeah because you can we will tell seconds. her you know you're okay you're okay and yeah. she'll pout out of it all right i'm gonna dry this real quick Great, but I don't think I am because that natural wood's coming up yeah, nice. It's coming in through very nicely. I gotta uh, fix our inside here, but I'll fix that later because this will go, end up like going like 
Linda asks, have you heard from any of the folks who have taken all the puppies? I mean, any updates of how they're doing, sharing photos? I sure do miss them. Um, if you're on our page, the, Mc, the McChess, M-C-C-H-E-S-S, -S, Manor on Facebook, that you can join that. And all, all, our, all the puppies are usually... All the owners are popping things on there. Caviar is the darkest, right? Caviar is the darkest. Okay, thank you. Can you open that for me? Yes, I can. That's going to need a good cleaning. So the last one I saw was Goose laying on a... Who was he on? Oh, the, the puppy puppies? The puppy puppies, mm -hmm. yes. So we do see them. People are posting. Uh, one of the gals that took two, um, she's been showing her teaching methods. Smart little bugs. Smart little bu All right, so I'm using these wood cutouts that I told you, and I just use um, a Cricut uh, Stronghold cutting mat. Um to hold the pieces while I paint. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my, this on here, so I'll paint that in a second. And this just does it so I don't have to hold the um, pieces while I paint this. And then I'm just gonna be using, this is caviar, because I really want these flowers to pop. And that's the reason why I was gonna add a little bit of gray, but that natural wood's coming through. So I want the backboard, of that to be that soft gray and these to pop a little and we're going to chalk the flowers in white um, to match the bottom and then we're going to do our transfers of course so this is we cut our wood on a glowforge and we cut at a quarter inch i like the look of a thicker wood um so we don't do thin wood our prices include the thick wood mm -hmm. um the only thing i will say on this wood that we're currently using it has a little bit of an odor to it i don't know why i think it smells like cloves clove. it smells like cloves yeah it's a different um, it's not the what do they call it oh the glowforge version of their stuff their stuff's so expensive though I know, so expensive. um it does absorb paint pretty um aggressively i will say mm -hmm. so uh keep that in mind i'll probably do two coats and dry these before we use our transfer to ink on it maybe 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 yeah great idea with the mat isn't it great idea works well and this is the strong grip So for those of you who don't know, um, a long story, basically a shortened, you guys, some of you have been following me, know that I fell in love with freeze-dried Skittles about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Our founder of Chalk Tour, Sarah Newbold, her son brought him to a event and I fell in love with them. So I've been eating freeze-dried candy for about two years. When S Riley got really sick... She couldn't eat any treats and she couldn't have any high fat. So Sean started buying freeze dried chicken because it's very low fat, um, but it was very expensive. Small little bag, 20 bucks. Yes. So on Black Friday, we had gotten a freeze dryer for personal use. It was a Black Friday deal before all of the stuff happened with Riles and the pubs. And Sean came to me with a business plan basically of saying, he wants to start a freeze-dried business. So we're starting with Skittles. And then we're going to start adding dog treats. And other candies. And other candies. There's tons of them. Tons He's of them. He's been doing about three months of research. He's calibrated our machine. Um, he's super excited. And he left his job to do this. Mm -hmm. And I said, let's do it. So when you guys see freeze-dried treats, you'll have to tell us what you think. We're going to... Share them on our TikTok and our lives and all the good stuff. Nancy B, hello.
I may miss the driving, but I will not miss some of those kids. Oh. <laughs> My kids at the first bus driving, those those guys were cool, but these ones here, not so much. He wasn't there were some, wild. There were some good kids, but don't get me wrong. Yeah, but. he wasn't. I don't think you were wild even about your route because he had a very traffic heavy route. Um, so, plus the split schedule was really hard. It is. It's trying, um, to work, trying to do all of this and that and. Then come home and yeah. do lives, and it just, it was a lot. It served a purpose while we needed mm -hmm. it. Whole, hold on one second. A whole bunch of things came in here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, that's, um, Fatima, yes, we can even freeze dry the ice cream bars. Which we're going to we'll eventually do. Vacation was good. So the thing about Julie, the thing about freeze dried is that you take a Skittle, a normal Skittle, you know, it's kind of chewy, they got the crunchy shell, but this, it puffs up. The colors will stay on two sides, but then the middle, you see the inside kind of puffs it and it's white. And now it's crunchy, like, um, I don't know, crunchy. Very, like very, a corn nut almost. Yeah, it's very, very lightweight. There's almost no weight to it. Very cool. And you can do this with so many candies. So Nancy, what type of dog treats will you make? I want to definitely take, you know, chicken, meat, boil it, then you cut it up in pieces, little bite-sized pieces. That will not expand. It just completely free dries it and it's light, super lightweight, but easy to eat. Chicken, pork, beef, whatever I can get, turkey, all that stuff. Can you freeze dry Reese's? Yes, you can. I heard uh, for those people, that, especially the older guy, people out there, Biddle Honey, they say that is to die for. It's so good. Oh, Can't yeah. Bit of honey. I forgot about bit of honey. Bit of honey. Okay, we're going to put this off to the side for now. Do we still do we still sell the wood-burning solution? We do. The wood-burning so Oh, oh. the blaze powder. Blaze yes, that's on our Etsy store. So a lot of our stuff we're going to be doing on the Etsy store just because it's um, easier to do than trying to build a website right now at this point all right i just need to clean some of my edges here jill marble hello so while i am drying um you guys probably remember when we um uh, would do transfers like this we would line them up using our bright pad yes but we don't have to do that anymore no they have except for the older transfers of course what and uh then uh, you can when you have the older ones you can use your bright pads. oh yeah absolutely would you do vegetables too of course nancy you can freeze dry jolly ranchers yes you can yep they expand bigger pieces Nerd ropes can do those. Nerd clusters. Nerd clusters. Can't wait. Those are one of my favorite freeze dried. Yes, Carrie. The freeze dried candies will be on Etsy. They're probably going to be about a month out just because yeah. uh, freeze drying takes a bit of time. Yeah, about twenty four hours. Fast. Twenty four hours for each batch. Yeah. So, um. We have to keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grab our March transfer. So the new transfers are a little bit more um, translucent, I guess you would say. A little translucent, yes. So you can actually see lining them up. Now, in my experience, uh, they do stain a little easier, but they get stickier quicker. So I love the new transfers. Um, I'm super excited about them. Mm. And I'm going to try to, because we have to do these. Um, so we have this one here, which is going to be this one. And then this one. Oops. 
Cowgirl Sally says, can I still make an order by email? An order for... Let me know what you want to order. If you're talking about anything, probably. So see how... Yeah, let me zoom in. We don't have to worry anymore about it. We can line it up just like that. So it used to be I'd grab my bright pad, line it up, but now I can easily... Do it just like that, look at that. Voila! Voila! Voila, with a V. Oh, voila! Voila. I love the new transfers. They are so easy with the more transparent material to place. They are, they are. I hear clean, cleaning these up too are actually easier. She says, Chalk Couture, can I, can I still make an order by email for Chalk Couture? Yeah. Yes. You mean me. Yep. Zoom out a little bit. This transfer is available March 1st. Yes, this will be the Club Couture transfer March 1st. So if you're a Club Couture member, you will automatically get it. If you are not and join, you'll get it in February or March. All right, so now we're gonna do this middle flower, which is gonna be this one and this one, and that's gonna be right here. Now, once again, you can get either the cutouts and the file on our Etsy store. So if you already have a wood cutting machine or a Cricut and you're going to use our chalk suede, which you can cut all of these out on our chalk suede using a Cricut or Silhouette or Brother Scan and Cut. Chalk suede. 12 by 12. And you said to use which blade? Probably. Uh, I'm thinking the deep. I haven't actually tested it out yet, just because that product came in, and then we had puppies go, and then we yeah. had on um, a trip. So I haven't really. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Um, yeah. This transfer is awesome. This is beautiful, beautiful one. Amazing how the quality of transfers have progressed since the first ones in 2016. I know. We still have part of a transfer on our shower curtain. <laughs> yeah. Because they were so sticky. We, I had the sticky side down over the over the shower curtain rod, and then I went to take it off, and it stuck right to it. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Thinking deep cut blade makes sense. Probably so. Because you, what, what um, pound do you think that stuff is? To me, 120? yeah, it's at it's least a, 120. At least, yeah. If not more. And it's got that kind of finish on it, so. Mm -hmm. Sharon says, Kenny, you're awesome. I always mess it up when I try to use it the second time without washing it first. It well, is, my last one didn't line up too perfect, but that's okay because right. it's going on a black background, no so line. it's more of a <clears throat> a statement piece, yeah. but the second time is hard, I'm not going to lie, because you can't really see the transfer at, or the, the cutout as well. I'm gonna find the thing that tells the time of the uh, <clears throat> lower thirds to come off. 
Okay, I'm gonna go clean this transfer. I'll be right back. We'll go to that camera to see him do it. Let's we'll see how good this stuff washes. Watch out, the black has no lid. <laughs> oh, Tamara, that's too funny. Let me share. That's gonna be hard to read. Let's see. I'm gonna have to fix that. They've they've obviously fixed that. I used to be able to see that bigger, but yeah, that's funny. See how easy that cleaned? Just remember, do both sides, and you're good to go. Yeah, I could just see him hitting that, and all the paint going everywhere. And that is the um, scrubby. Uh, works great on getting uh, paint off your hands. And works great on cleaning that. One time I used, I used something other than that and cleaned it so much you can see that little white piece right there where he's at now. There, That is non-sticky. That white section, no stick. I, I literally scrubbed the stick right off of it. I forgot what I used. <laughs> And voila, let it drip dry and you're good to go and ready to use it again. That's what's so great about that, uh, those mats. They clean them up and they're just sticky after they're all dry. A chocolate or scrubby? No, that scrubby you can get um, Dixie Bell. on Dixie Bell. They come links in, are down below. Yeah, links are down below. So they come in orange, lemon, and lime. Yes, they orange, do. Orange is my favorite. All right, so for this one, we're using a C transfer. This is minutes. just to let you know. I just wanted to let you know what your time is. What? I wanted to let you know your time. We got 15 minutes. Thank you. Yep. So this is a look on the sunny side, and it's available. And we're going to be using the one that says wildflowers. Wow. Now you'll know it's the new transfer because it will have usually a sticker on it that lets you know something about the copyright. What that means is it's not about the copyright of reselling. It means the little slug line down here, that is considered a transfer and it will transfer over if you, um, Hello, Beth. if yeah. you uh, Don't paste it. it. Yeah. Same with these lines. Yep. So when I'm cutting them, I'm cutting them right on the line. They feel different too. Yeah, I really like them. Very smooth. It doesn't have that fabric feel. Mm -mm. Which means you're not going to get any of that fabric stuff coming off. Nope. Wildflower. Now this is part of the, if you want to get this, this is part of, it will say Ken's, I think I labeled it Ken's Live maybe project. And you'll get this little part. That's the only way to really get this part for the wildflowers. And I, I shaped, uh, designed the file to perfectly fit it with the little lines going off to the side. So you don't actually use the whole wildflower image. It's more... Well, look at that. All right, I'm gonna go wash this, I'll be right back. Okay, I'll dry this. Yeah. Silky is a good way of putting it. It almost has a plastic almost type feel. Yeah, it kind of does. All right, so we're going to grab my sign here. These can go off to the side somewhere. Where does these go to? To the new, it's the board in the um, T 
to retrace that. All right. So now we're going to use my... I wonder if Sean put it away. What did you need? I think he might have put it away. How was it? A D-size transfer. D-size? Yeah. What does it say? It's the one that has the... Um, maybe it's still out here. I only put away the stuff that was up on here. It's my farmhouse patterns transfer. It's a D size and it's got different patterns. Yep, you put it away. That's okay, that's oh. okay, that's okay. How do you sell cutouts? Also, what brand of acrylic paint do you use? Um, we sell cutouts on Etsy. Etsy. Here's the Etsy store. Um, what brand of acrylic paint? We, acrylic paint or on our cutouts? On our cutouts, we use just the Glowforge acrylic. But if you're talking about a paint, like all this here is a stain. This is all Dixie Bell. Probably want it all the way up to the edge. That's one thing I'm glad that they've designed differently is now they have these going up to the edge versus mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Cutouts. All three-dimensional almost. Once again, if I don't get a perfect transfer on that, that's fine. We're kind of going for a distressed look to this board. Um, if you want a perfect transfer and no leaks, I recommend um, waxing your board. Mm -hmm. And on black, just make sure you have your transfer all the way down. There's no bubbles. There's no ripples. And just make sure your paste is what we always say, a good sour cream consistency. Mm -hmm. And then when I lift up, I lift straight up and slow, especially with using my black. Robin Schmidt, hello. Robin, darling. I'm doing a project inspired by you. Yeah. Hello to John if he's listening. Her husband, great guy. So Robin is the one. She actually has on her page, um, I can't share it because we can't share each other's pages, but she has a great reel showing how she did this project. That's where I got the inspiration. I'm going to have Sean dry that, and I'm going to go clean yes. my transfer, show you guys how we can use this back-to-back. -back. Should be good. What packaging materials do you use to ship your cutouts? Um, whatever I have handy, from craft paper to bubble wrap, whatever oh, I have. Funny. Somebody was just asking, what do we use to send our cutouts if we mail them oh, out? Oh, can you um just pick that up? Yeah, sure can. So to use transfers back to back, I just put them down pretty sopping wet. Um. So once again, hi Robin. Uh, her page is uh, Adosa Creates. And she, this project, was my inspiration of going live today. I was like, ooh, I want to go live. That's what I love about Chalk Tours. You can find inspiration from other designers, tweak it, copy it. And her page is a great one to follow because I get a lot of inspiration from Robin. Yeah. She does. Uh 
Very very talented. Very talented. So basically, you just want to make sure it's dry. And your main thing is you want to make sure that all of your little mesh part is good. So I always kind of just... You're stepping on my cord. There Sorry. All right. Then we can bring the board back up because Sean dried it. And we're just going to repeat. Rinse and repeat. Our pattern. Now, what's cool about our patterns is they are. Repeating. Yes. Now, it's a little easier now because our transfers are, as we said, translucent. So I think it's easier to line it up like this and just not paste that part. Is this upside down? This might be upside down. Oh yeah, it was upside down. Once again, we're going to kind of smooth it out to make sure there's no... Oh, I'm barely touching right there. Man. Yeah. Just, just need that itty bitty overlap. Just an itty bitty overlap. That's why our new transfers are so awesome. It makes this part so much easier. I'm just going to have a little ledge here to do. I know we're getting low on our time, but we're so close to being done, Sean. I know. Part two would be fun. <laughs> Part two would just be us gluing it. My prediction is color of the month is going to be a grayish color. I heard rumors of that. Rumor, rumor. I have no information on that, but that's what I've heard. We tried to get it out of Brandy when we were down in Punta Cana and she wouldn't budge. No, nope. nope. I think she said something to the extent, though, of it's very beigey or something. All right. Try that, I'm gonna clean this one last time. That one last time. There is one more part we have to do. We have to paint some of these little 
things. The what? She had them kind of filled in everywhere. Yes. Which I kind of like that look. What do you think? That could be part of the second part. <laughs> Even your second part. Mm. It's seriously just going to be us gluing stuff down, Shawnee. But now you have to do the black parts. <laughs> that won't take long. Just got the big etched butterfly transfer. Still don't know what I'm going to do with it. I love that transfer. I haven't used it yet, but I love it. Snow is a coming. I know. Should be here in about. I 20. don't want to hear that, but I know. Like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, can put it down. If I was smart, I would have went edge to edge and met in the middle, but that's okay. I think those are all touching. They're very close to it. Yes? What do you think, Shani? I don't think you have the, I don't think you have the right one. Oh, is it upside down? I don't know if it's upside down because it doesn't look right. You don't look right. I know. Man, I'm so glad we have our new transfers. This is an older one, isn't it? Yeah. The new ones are make this process so much easier because you can just line them up so easy. You see right through it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now take a look at it. That's good. Okay. We had snow two days ago. But we came home to like eight degrees of weather, of temperature. Yay, that looks great. Yep. Okay, so you have a couple options. We could leave it like this. Um, you could water down your paste and fill in, you know, different things. We can be very random about it and for, fill in certain ones. The idea essentially is this will end up going down here. And then these. And I am going to do a little border here in black. So the question is, is do we want to fill in some of these with black down here or leave it like that? What says you, McCoy? I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, I'm just looking at your time. Don't rush I'm not rushing. my creativity. I'm not. No, I almost want to just put a piece of black tape there. Or do you like this border? It's a nice border. Or do I just leave it nice, crisp, and clean? 
Which is also very nice too. When you look at it, I mean, looking at it through the monitor looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice and clean. All right, let's turn on my glue gun. I think I'm gonna leave it. Yeah. I kind of like the simplicity of. What do you think? Instead mm -hmm. of filling them in. Yeah. Yep, I think so. Simplicity yeah. At its best. Let me see this real quick. I'm gonna sneaky peeky in here. For what? Uh, I do want to do some sort of black border. So I think I'm going to do this nice silk and just, I probably didn't cut that long enough or did I? Sweet, I did. Can you hand me my AGT gun? Thank you. That's straight. I'll take the flowers off. Yeah, I'm looking at this right here. Yeah. Yep. Okay. sharp one. Oh yeah. Don't you know? Sharp. Their true control blade is pretty nice. The what? This is the Cricut control blade. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that finished it off nice. Yep. All right, let's glue this down. Just turn on my heat. I want a little bit more. It's popping up a little right here. We'll just cheat. Loving it. All right, so flowers. Well, let's do the wildflower first. Where does it, is that pretty centered? Okay, mm -hmm. you'll have to help me place it when I glue it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what else might look good? If I added... Just black shiny ribbon. I got that at um, Ikea. Ikea. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Didn't like it. Had an idea. Didn't pan out. Okay. So let's do my flowers next. We're going to start with this guy. Oops. Bitter webs.
So do you want to talk about all the good things about us going live again, since we'll probably end as soon as I'm done? All about the good things? Just about the starter kits and the links. If you starter want the cups. links, if you're on Facebook, just text. Do hashtag flowers. If you're on Facebook, we'll get you all the links. If you're on YouTube, the links are down below. Mm -hmm. um, February ends tomorrow. So if you want to get that starter kit, the Easter starter kit, that's while supplies last. So I would definitely take advantage of that as well. With the Easter one, you do get the, the bunny cutout and, and the transfer. It's the only way you can get it now. Mm-hmm. And then this will be going up on my Etsy store. I'm going to be selling my artwork now also on Etsy store. So for any of the cutouts, for completed artwork, for SVG files, all of that goodness, <coughs> it's on our Etsy store. Once our freeze-dried candy launches, it will also launch on our Etsy store. I'm trying to make it simple. Plus, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, starting a website's a pain in the butt. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Isn't it, Shawnee? Yeah, they can't make it simple. Well, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. So you have to check out Robin's original... Um, design on this because ours is a little bit different uh we changed it up a little bit with the different flowers and stuff but the basics are there the basics are there that's beautiful huh? what do you think love it isn't that pretty show it upwards yeah oh i love it very pretty that turned out so good you guys all right, I hate to run and, but our meeting starts in five minutes and it's about a 15 minute drive. 15 minute drive. <laughs> Luckily, the first first 15 minutes is all. Yeah. Really so good. once again, if you want any of the links on Facebook, hashtag flowers. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, all the links are down below. We will be live tomorrow night again. Um, so if you miss this live, you can watch the replay or um, you'll see us tomorrow. We'll go over all of the perks and everything again. Um, thanks for watching us. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. If you want to purchase it, I'll put it up on Etsy probably tomorrow. I do need to fix a little kind of paint in the in there but um and thank you robin for the inspiration yes, robin. so thank you guys we'll see you tomorrow bye, -bye. bye everyone <laughs>